Warping is the process of transferring multiple yarns, each on a separate yarn package, into a single collecting package. In rope dyeing, this package of yarns is referred to as a ball warp. The individual yarns are brought together and formed into a rope. The rope is then wound onto a cylindrical barrel, sometimes called the log. It got its name from when they were originally made from solid pieces of wood. Today, logs are made from metal and covered with rubber. The log does not have end flanges. The yarn collecting package is referred to as a beam when the yarns are laid in sheet form onto a cylindrical barrel with side flanges and yarn ends lying parallel to one another. In either case, the supply yarn packages are placed on spindles, which are located in a framework called a creel. Traveling package creels are V-shaped creels with the current packages of yarn that are being used to make the beam or log placed on the outside of the V. The replacement yarn packages for the next warper set are placed on the inside of the V. When the running packages are depleted, the empty yarn packages on the creel are rotated so that the spent packages then move to the inside of the V and the previously stored full packages move to the outside of the V, ready to be processed into the next warp. This system eliminates time lost in creeling up new yarn packages. Continuous magazine creels are straight line creels with enough package holders so that each end running has a reserve yarn package placed beside it. The tail end of the running package is tied to the beginning end of the reserve package. Once the running package is depleted, the yarn transfers over to the reserve package and the warper continues to run. This is a random method of creeling yarn packages and is most effective by mills running beams and balls with a standardized number of ends, yarn types, or yarn counts on them. Truck creels describe a system where one creel is running yarn packages while a second creel is being loaded. Once the current set of packages is exhausted, the creel is moved out of the way and the second creel is moved into the running position. The yarn ends from the second creel must be pulled forward and threaded through the appropriate guides. In ball warping, anywhere from 250 to 400 yarns or ends are pulled from the creel. These yarns then pass through a comb-like device, sometimes called a hack or reed, which keeps each warp yarn separate and parallel to its neighboring ends. Every 1 to 2,000 yards, a lease string is interlaced through the warp yarns at the hack. This string aids the yarn separation into sheet form during the subsequent rebeaming operation after dyeing. The yarns then go through a funnel-shaped device called a trumpet, which condenses the sheets of yarns into rope form. The trumpet is located at the base of the warper head and moves back and forth, guiding the rope of yarns onto the log. Once the yarns have been wound onto the log, this package is known as a ball warp and is ready to be delivered to the indigo rope dye range. During beam warping, yarns from the creel are in a sheet form and are wound parallel to each other onto a flanged beam. These yarns will not go through the indigo rope dye range, but can be either slasher dyed or left natural. If left natural, the resulting fabric could then be piece dyed or used as a natural denim, which could even later be garment dyed if desired. Another option could be to beam dye the yarns using something other than indigo dye.